Hi guys, Hal Jackie here. I wanted to take some time today to do a quick little overview of all the road networks in the uh, base game of SimCity 4, as well as the network add-on mod uh, addition to the game. So make sure you have both downloaded. Uh, your menu and interface might look a little different from mine because I have a whole bunch of other mods and things installed, so uh, don't worry about that, but you should have some of the basics. You can go through the NAM installer itself and select things on and off, so uh, your style, like thing, the way things look may be a little bit different, but uh, other than that, let's start diving into it. So first we've got the uh, the classic old road network, right? This is included in the base game even before the expansion of uh, Rush Hour or the Deluxe Edition, but obviously it's pretty straightforward, right? You've got two-lane road, one way in each way, you can create intersections, you can create curves, right? And you can kind of make them come together. So this is a little addition here. See this? I stretch it that way. Ooh, it's even neater, right? You can get rid of that. So there's a couple new things that you can play with because the curve of the road has been significantly um, enhanced during during the uh, during the NAM install. So see if I see how I turn that. That's kind of like the curve in the base game. But if I make it a little bit smoother, it can go like that. So if I do this, see it look kind of funky, but then I can drag again and ooh, that's kind of neat, right? It's the same thing with the, with the tight corners, the 90 degree corners, like I could go like that, right? Or if I get rid of that and I drag from here, look at that. That's a nice little kind of a three by three curve. I think it looks pretty good. You're gonna have an extra tile here. You can put like, you know, a sculpture or a bus stop or something. So it gives you like a little extra room on curves. And uh, yeah, that's kind of what you do. That's a roundabout by just dragging a, a two by two grid. You can drag all kinds of stuff in and out. So you can go like that, you can go like that. One of the additions in the latest NAM, NAM 42, is I can go like that. And create like a double entrance and stuff. So you could have insane amount of connections here <laughs> it doesn't look very safe but you can you can do that and don't worry about some of these weld textures see how it looks like only like a part of the roundabout has uh, has the weld textures as soon as you start zoning or popping something next to it it'll it'll uh, fully override uh, so as an example I just kind of plop that there 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 okay kind of overrides a bit so that's kind of nice so what else can you do with just the base road in the game? You've got roundabouts, you've got nice curves. Well, you can do fractional angle curves too. So if I drag this and then I want it to like go curve one tile, it kind of looks a little dumb to do that, right? Or like that, or like that, right? It looks kind of looks kind of bad. But if you drag this road just a little bit, see how it, it changes? So I'll turn on the grid here just so you can kind of see the tiles. Uh, grid is the hotkey G. And you just kind of go two tiles into it and look that's a nice little uh, fractional angle curve and it makes for a much more realistic and, and nicer road and obviously you can override that if you want for a roundabout too and stick more crap in it if you want and if you want to keep going with the fractional angle you can so if i start here if i keep dragging it's going to look like that which is kind of weird and then here i can keep extending it or I can start dragging straight. So if I keep extending it, then here I can drag some more and some more, and basically as long as I want to go, and then it'll stop there, and then I can give it a nice little happy curve there, and yeah. That's kind of what I do for, for the roads. There's a little bit more in terms of curves and stuff, but it looks so much better than it did in the base game. So, yeah, I think that was good. Kind of funny doesn't really like what I do there, but stick around about in whenever you have a funny intersection. That's what I like to do. So yeah, that's um, that's kind of roads in a nutshell. So next up, we'll move to one-way roads. One-way roads, not as many additions and whatnot to it, but uh, there's still some fun stuff here. So if you drag, obviously it's one way. You can put arrows on and off. If I drag that way, it'll start moving that way. I have arrows off right now. Sometimes I have them on for every once in a while, but again, just like the um, 
just like the road, you can make a nice little smooth curve, right? But there's no, as you can see, there's no kind of fractional angle thing, so you have to sometimes plop those manually, so that's that's okay. And then there's also the real expressway mod, which is a, something relatively new. I'm not super experienced with it, but you can start like building off ramps kind of like that. See how that's kind of there? Right, that's kind of fun, right? Rather than have, because the typical the typical extension would just be like a one way road in, but instead you've kind of got like a bit of a highway on ramp, and then you can curve this in. And this is a one way road, and you can transition it just like that. So I'll show you again. So if you want to transition from one lane to two, you drag this all the way to the edge. It creates a little transition piece. That way you don't need to plop any of those puzzle pieces. It can just be done in the game. So that's cool. Uh, with one-way roads as well, you have roundabouts. Uh, the roundabout for the one-way road is actually a three by three. So if I drag three by three, gives you that. You can plop a little, uh, if you drag in the middle, it gives you a nice little sculpture, but you can fill that in with whatever you want. But I'll put that in for now. And then of course, with the one-way road roundabouts, you can go up to, I think, six networks. Create like a nice little thing. And obviously it's one lane. So having a two lane one-way road go into it, it's kind of weird, but both lanes just kind of merge in together. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's one-way roads. Not too much else there for, for me to show in terms of my experience, but yeah, this, this real expressway thing's kind of fun. Oh yeah, um, one thing you can do as well is if I'm dragging this through and I've got like one-way road intersections and stuff, if I drag with the road tool just at the edge of the intersection, it'll create a better traffic light because this looks kind of dumb, right? Which way has the right-of-way? Why are there only traffic lanes on one side? But if I drag like that, well, maybe it doesn't work for the one-way road intersections. Not quite. All right, let's do a regular one. So if I drag like, like there's no traffic lights at all. If I drag like that, now I've got lights, and I've got little arrows pointed on the road, which is kind of nice. So that's cool. And then if you combine the roads and the one-way roads, you can create slip lanes without using uh, turning lane pieces. So to make that a uh, make a slip lane, you kind of occupy this tile. So I'm going to drag a road out. And here I'm going to drag a road. And here I'm going to grab one-way road. And if I drag that one-way road here, Voila, I've got a nice little slip lane. So that's cool. There are toggles and puzzle pieces for it, but like that I can just put them in. They work for basically any road network too. Like I could go here and put that in. You can make You can make them on all sides. I think. Doesn't quite like me. <laughs> I've got three. Sometimes it takes a little bit of, yeah, there we go. A little bit of trial and error, but yeah, that's kind of fun. Obviously, I wouldn't want this in a typical scenario unless you're dealing with like heavy trucks in an industrial sector. I'd rather, this is kind of fun too. It's something you can do, but I'd rather just put in a roundabout. I don't like that. And of course you hook everything up. And yeah, that's that's kind of the deal with, uh, with one-way roads. Obviously, you could make a uh, two-way intersection here, how the arrows are pointing and stuff. Oh so yeah, it's kind of the fun thing. Of course, you do that. It doesn't quite override in all scenarios, but the most common ones you do. That way you get some cool intersections. The next network, avenues. So avenues, obviously, two tiles wide, two lanes in each direction. Pretty straightforward. There's no smooth curves for this. Uh, still curves like that um, but there are puzzle pieces and things that you can get into which I will cover obviously you can create an intersection here and make it turn like that make it go like that and you can start combining them with uh, with some other uh, networks too so I can start dragging like that and if you really want some fun you can even create like very weird intersections. You can go like that, that, uh, that, 
right? This 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 looks very dangerous, but it looks really fun, right? You got like all of that. And there's all kinds of stuff you can do. So if I grab the road. Usually with the road, right, you just kind of drag it in. It creates a transition like that. But you can also kind of drag them diagonally. So you can create a transition like that. Or I can drag it into a curve and creates a transition like that. So there's different ways to transition your roads to the uh, avenues, as uh, demonstrated here. You can also do the same with one-way roads. Obviously, you can just start at the edge here and start breaking them up. Or on a curve, I can continue this, and I can kind of drag into here, and so it creates kind of like a weird curve. But that's cool. Right, nice little fun things that people may not know. There's also slip lanes, which are also a relatively new addition to the NAM. So here, it would usually just create like a re regular um, one-way road curve, but here I got like little tiny slip lanes. They don't take any extra tiles. So I could hook all these up with one-way roads to create some insane intersection here. Like, look at that. That's messed up. Uh, so to use a roundabout, there is a roundabout for the avenue, and that's just called Avenue Intersection, so I could plop that here. Uh, there's a thing in the middle that you could use for flexible underpasses, which we'll get to. But anyway, you should plop that in, and then you can hook everything else up. Here, I'll put one over here, too. And you can start hooking up your avenues, just like before. Up to eight roads and connect to this one. It's a two by two, so a little bit larger. Those street lights just barely fit in the median, which is kind of fun. And obviously, if you wanted to put in the slip lanes again, you could. Right. <laughs> Some fun stuff. But with the avenue roundabouts, while I'm there, you can also start dragging things off at the side. So if I want a one-way road, I can extend it like that. Um, as well as... Right, you can't really put it in this way, but you can have it kind of come out the edges for single tile networks. Also with one-way roads you can make like a nice little split here so if I want to get to this avenue without using this turn lane I drag a one-way road out. I'll create like a weird little on-ramp here, off-ramp. I can even go further and put like a drag that to create a proper intersection so you have like a dual turn lane. So again you can drag it out on the curve and you can even drag in like this funky dangerous thing but uh it's something you can do so it's in it's in the game <laughs> ea games your old slogan was it's in the game or something yeah that's a little funky might have to re plop this that's okay though uh, there's another avenue rent about if you ever have avenues on a weird uh angle so let's say I've got an avenue that is going like that. And I've got my roundabout a little off center. So it would normally be like here. Let's say I have it like a little off center. Is that off center? Let's double check here. Yeah, see how it's not going to connect because it's not perfectly on the edge? There's another rotation you can do. I press tab. Uh, this gives you the really weird avenue intersection. Uh, connections and you can rotate that so now it lines up so you can build like a whole bunch of these make them come in kind of weird as well as having like your standard one connected to right do like some really fun weird stuff maybe that'll help some people that are just looking for some fun things to do um so let's move on shall we Uh, to streets. So I have an asphalt street mod. It's basically the uh, SAM or SAM or street add-on mod just with one texture that's overwritten. So that's why mine looks like asphalt. There isn't a whole lot in addition to the base street in the game without the SAM or anything else, but you can um, you can drag diagonal, which is not a thing in the game. If I just keep going like that, like that, like that, like that, I can make a fun little diagonal street. And there's also street roundabouts, which is just a two by two. So if I go like that, like that, like, like that, you got like a nice little street roundabout. And you can even create fun little, uh, I don't think I did that quite right. 
that's okay. Yeah, you can even create like a fun little diagonal intersection. And you can you can channel roads and things in there too if you wanted to. Having a one-way road come out of a street, kind of weird, but whatever. Like that. That can't be supported. Not not for not for the street. You can curve things in. Yeah. Lots and lots of possibilities. Oops. So that's kind of fun. So that's basically like your bread and butter networks, these four. So next up is pedestrian malls. These are pedestrian only. So they're good if you want to create like a, a street without cars or like a nice plaza and stuff. And you can, um, you can rotate them as well if you want different uh, networks. Right, cobblestone, pavement, sandstone, right? Even grass, right? You can walk on grass or create like a footbridge if you wanted to, right? If you want to go over over a avenue or something, right? You can plop those in too, right? Do that. And, uh, I don't know. Just have like a rail line next to it. There's also like a, a dragger as well, like on slope. If you're on slope, you can just start dragging that. I don't know what network you really use to drag. I think it just points to the way it goes. But either way, I don't really use a lot of ped moles, but you know, they do work. And if you want to have like a nice avenue with the. Uh... It looks pretty nice. But yeah, that's bed malls. I'm not an expert, but that's kind of how they work. Uh, they're pedestrian only. Next up is a, um, a helper for diagonal streets. So rather than drag, 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 right? You can put this in to help override it. So it moves, oops, so it moves a lot better. So by putting this in, it just gives you like a long thing and Here's a shorter one, an even shorter one. That one isn't supported, I guess. Interesting. Some of these I haven't even used before. <laughs> but you can just do that. And then obviously, you gotta select a street. done a little something too weird here for the game it's like what are you doing yeah it doesn't like that i can just fix that up yeah so that's kind of the street helper if you if you don't want to drag it out next up is puzzle pieces for the fractional angle network so if i ever wanted to have like some nice um networks on it i could do it like that if i press tab i can make it like curve kind of funny make it like a fun little 90 degree curve there. I kind of like do something like this. Right, lots of possibilities. You can make it cross the rail line. Some things aren't fully supported. You can see that's the old texture for the uh, real railway mod. But these are old puzzle pieces and they're really not that supported anymore, but they're still Available for some precise movements, right? That's like a far to a curve, so I just would plop another uh, far connection. Far means fractional angle road for anyone that doesn't know. So that's that's an extremely gentle curve, right? Versus that. And then also in the far pieces, if you go further, you've got similar setups here for like intersections, like weird fractional angle intersections. You can drag a lot of these too, um, but they come up with like all these weird angles. So if I was to drag, you can kind of get away with it. Right, if I want to put that in, I can kind of just drag up. So that's kind of like that intersection that's already been pre-plopped. So the draggable 
and setup has really gotten a lot better over time. But if you ever have a, have a problem putting in those, those kind of things with the drag, there's always the puzzle pieces that can help you out with that. Uh, next up is like a similar deal with one-way roads. Uh, they're, they're two directions. Yes, they're not two directional, sorry. Uh, just follow the way that the arrows are pointing. So if this is going that way, right? See those arrows pointing that way? I want to make sure you got that. So when you put the thing on the other side, make sure that the arrows are pointing that way so that uh, you get the proper uh, setup for the, for the directions or else you're going to have two different directions on the one-way roads, which is not going to work. And of course, you got the, you know, the flat curves, it's the same as before. If you want to make it do like a crazy turn there, you can. And then last near the end here is your faction Lego for ro for avenues. So again, if you just need your avenue to curve just a teeny bit, you can kind of do it like that. Or you can put in a filler to make it a little bit bigger. For fractional angle stuff, especially with the puzzle pieces, it's best to do it on flat land. Because if I just wanted to curve my avenue two tiles without this, uh, it's a bit of, it looks really weird. Right, if I, if I wanted to curve it right here, I have to like drag it up, up, like that. And that's, that's really tight, not as realistic as that. So as long as you've got room, you can kind of plop that in. And I think that's it for the fractional angle stuff. Yeah, so those are the puzzle pieces. They can give you some fun little creative things or help solve some weird networks, um, weird network connections that you have. Next up is single tile roundabouts. I still really haven't used these too much, but you can uh, kind of plop them as like a flex, like three-way, four-way. It's not too much, right, in the, in the sense of things, but you can create the little tiny roundabouts. Good for like suburbs or whatever where you want traffic to stop. Kind of drag them out like that. Again, not fully supported with that street thing that I have, but I don't really use these at all. I'd rather create regular intersections, but um, they're there. Uh, next up is the curves. These are similar to the ones I just dragged, right? You got the simple curve. Uh, you got that. You want to do something like that. Again, the dragging has gotten so good in NAM that you can just you know, do that. It's even tighter. But if you wanted to go all the way, just fix that up. You can always just do that, right? And it'll override. But the curves are all here. Oh, I back at fraction angle. I think I picked the fraction angle one. Oop. I press the airport menu. Okay, so back to curves. So, yeah, you can make like these nice big five by five curves too, which is a little bit nicer than those three by three if you've got the room. Uh, slip lanes and stuff for your uh, one-way roads. There's also a two-by-two two curve that's available for the road as well if you can't get those three-by-threes in. All right, so you can kind of do stuff like that. And again, for the streets, if you wanted to have a, a nicer curve, this one quite doesn't, doesn't work out with the drag here, does it? So you'd have to probably put in that helper piece to get it. I've never used this before. See, there's stuff I still learn in this game. Maybe I could try that out somewhere. Not everything's compatible with all the weird mods I have. There's the nice little 90 degree ones. And then the one I use a lot here is because there's no there's no smooth draggable avenue curve. Is at the end you've got um, you've got the avenue curves. So you can kind of plop those in. Make sure they fully align, properly align here. To rotate things, if people don't know, I'm using the tab button to select different options, and then the home and end keys can rotate. So you can kind of do that. Right, that looks a lot nicer than going like this. There's also a big 90 degree curve, if you want that. And then there's a flex one too which is just a little bit nicer, a little bit more friendly to build, is this, uh, you can kind of drag like that, I can 
out. They, they don't they don't X out when you get close to it. And they're also nice because you can just like kind of pre-build this and then be like, oh, I want this to be a nice curve. You can just kind of kind of demolish like the one piece here and then find your curve. And then just kind of you can plop that in as a as a flex as well. And the flex is nice because it's you can make like different weld textures on it and stuff, whereas the other one was not as dependent. But yeah, it's a little bit more simple, a little bit easier to build. And next up are the longer curves. So if you ever want to get like a long curve, you can build that in, or even longer, or even longer. So you can kind of put those in want nice long curves on your country roads or mountain roads or whatever you can do that so we went through curves we went through thing uh, we did some roundabouts so that's the avenue roundabout that's a revenue roundabout with the weird thing this is one with an elevated highway on top so that's kind of fun if you want to build like an interchange or something uh, you can connect all the wraps and stuff to it. Uh, this one's got light rail in the middle, so if you have a tram uh, network, the tram won't go around the Ravenue roundabout, it'll just go straight through, which is obviously nice for the tram. And then you've got some with some curves if you ever want that. These pieces all exist to make things a lot easier on everybody. Right, you even have one here that it's very specific where you want an interchange and a roundabout and an elevated highway on top with uh, with light rail. So I mean, it's all there. This is a really old piece. It doesn't really have much of a home, so we put it in the roundabout section. But this is if you want like a fun little stack uh, between avenues. It gives you a quick little flyover here. Connect uh, all your avenues to it. If you've ever got like this weird setup, so you can demolish that. Like, this is what it would normally look like. Come on. Right, it would normally look like... like... that. So instead, you're just kind of building out ramps for it. Because, um... You can, if you want to. And then, of course, you can rotate that as well, if you got some really weird stuff. Right? You can rotate it that way. But that's really it. It's kind of goes like that. This is another really old feature. This is one of the first additions to the NAM, as far as I know. And it's a avenue interchange. It doesn't look quite good, but remember, this is like very early on. 2004, 2005. But if you ever wanted to have like a highway interchange with an avenue and a road, uh, you build this. Right, it's a little funky, but it does the job exactly as described. It's there, if you ever wanted to use it. Again, we put it in the roundabouts because there's no real point for an avenue interchange part uh, section. It fills up that menu with too much stuff. Uh, next, if you don't want streets to cross, you can build this in. Because if I was to build an avenue... And I wanted a street on one side, and I wanted a street on the other. The game just overrides that and turns it into an intersection. So if you don't ever want that center intersection, you put in this piece, and uh, it prevents it from kind of going through all the way. So that's just a fun little thing. Now I should note that streets are the only thing that do this. You can build avenue with like whole avenues in, at least on one side, and it's fine. You can build one roads you can cross it if you want to but you don't have to red roads are also fine right do it like that but the streets always override so that that piece will keep that from happening what else is here for avenue intersections we've got the turbo roundabout or three-way roundabouts and that just adds a little extra uh fun to things so it's like, if you rotate it, you can go four ways. Right, this is the medianless avenue. Right, if you ever wanted that connected. Or 
really big boys. Roads, whatnot, so... To build this, I can just give an example here. Because there's a lot of toying around with it. But if I wanted this, I can't drag into it. Because this is a full puzzle piece. So what I would do, I would kind of drag my avenue first. Find that turbo roundabout that I want. Plop that in there. And then here, you can put in different, um, different pieces. So... Because you have two lanes coming in and out, you'd have to use um, a turning lane extension piece, which is way, way, way down. We'll get there. Just kind of plop that on both sides. Just make sure it lines up. But that's kind of how you do it. These are these are advanced and very. you can create some very unique combinations, but they're there if you want them. Anything else in the Avenue intersection menu? No, that's it. So next up is the FLUPS, or F-U-L-P's. And these are flexible underpasses. So this lets you go underneath um, other networks in the game. So it kind of creates like a little tunnel. Kind of like that. You rotate for roads and one-way roads here, which is a little bit different. There's not a separate puzzle piece for each. Just to keep the puzzle pieces down. Uh, if I press tab, this is your avenue. And if I keep rotating... Oh, this one doesn't have it. I guess there is a separate one. Ah, yeah. There's a separate one with avenue and ground light rail. A little bit glitchy. I mean, it's probably it's probably due to something I have. Um, package or something I have installed. But I do want to show you how this is used. So I'm going to build a rail line. And let's say I want to create an underpass. I will grab this, plop it on both ends. And then here, you can keep going through your tiles. You rotate for that setup. That's over a road. Keep rotating for the setup. Or if you want to go over, the, over top of one-way road, or an avenue, or a highway. And then here's the rail. So you just kind of go over the over your rail and see how that's that you see that line that'll work for one-way roads roads avenues whatever so again i can do the same thing i can do like four of those like that and then i can put the uh avenue entrance in and that'll override and it'll all work properly so yeah that's just a really easy way to build some some underpass and i think these look really good too like the models and stuff are cool that's kind of the flexible underpasses. There's more you can do too. Right, there's a street one that's like really, um, the slope is not as big. And you can do some pad malls and stuff. Like rail, you can go over, right? You can go over these weird curves if that ever happens. You can go over grass or unsupported grass, right? There's all kinds of stuff. But yeah, it just gives you that nice ability to create a nice uh, overpass or underpass uh, without digging into the ground or uh, going over with an overpass or something which is what we're going to get into next so these are the overpasses these are old pre-models but if you ever want to go over a road you just plop that in these are 15 meters very old in the NAM but they're all there right if you want to go over, any, over a rail line you do that so they're really simple to build All prefabricated. Slope's a little weird, but that's uh, that's how they are. Uh, next, there's some real expressway components. I'll get into this a little bit. I haven't really used too much, but if you ever want to build like those curves and things without uh, using those helpers, like these are basically the same as the those really long curves for roads. Do a nice little spinny boy there if you want. <laughs> Full circuit. You can kind of just build those. All uh, right. Uh, next, there are like those ramps. So if you want proper ramps built, you can kind of build those out if you wanted to. Still, lots of them, right? Lots of components, which is 
really cool. This is almost like real highway, but not quite real highway, right? There's all kinds of them, and you just kind of drag your one-way road right into them. If you ever wanted to. Right, and just kind of drag like that. So that's this is really cool, because you can build basically interchanges that look pretty pretty damn good without using the real highway mod. That's what that real expressway mod's all about. And next up are the same overpass setups for the one-way road. Again, yeah, nothing too crazy about that. That's on the menu. And then we've got Avenue. Again, same thing. Just kind of go over ne over top networks if you want to. Next up are the um, floppable overpasses. So here you just kind of puzzle piece them in. Curve if you want to. Create intersections if you want to. Over top roads. There's all kinds of setups you can make to build your overpass properly. And there's an on slope. If you have like a nice slope, you can curve that to the way you want. But yeah, that's uh, that's your 7.5 meter roads. And then again for 15 meters, which was the old base height way, way back. Uh, you can do the kind of the same thing. And here you got some transitions, if you ever wanted them. Uh, next up is the draggable ones. So if I wanted to just drag the overpass uh, for 7.5 meters, I just plop that starter and then I can drag right through. And look at that. quite the most stable thing. You might have to put in a couple pieces to override, but because I don't think it can supports those curves. But I mean, it gets the job done. Just have to, yeah, there we go. You can drag underneath and no problems at all. So let's go back. So there's other pieces too, right? You could do that. Those 7.5 meters, you can do 15 meters, one-way roads, avenues, and then these are like from ground to different levels, right? You can just see the difference in the height transitions, and then these are on slope, and you can go diagonally if you wanted to. It's, it's all it's all there for to play around with. On slope's kind of tricky, but you can definitely do it. And then you just drag in the other sides to get it back down to ground. You can even drag all the way through if you want to. That's kind of how that works. Uh, next, I won't really get into them, but they're uh, similar things for you know, your one-way road viaducts, um, alternate style viaducts, which I don't think I've ever used, but if you ever wanted like some fun, different appearances, you can kind of just drag that out. I mean, if you, if you ever wanted that kind of detail, I don't really care too much on my picky, but it's all there. Uh, next to your viaducts for, for Avenue, 7.5 and 15 meters. Next is the Hole Digger and Razor Lots. Uh, this is a little bit more technical, but if you plop this, it's going to raise the ground 15 meters. If I rotate it, so I press home or end, uh, see how it turned red? It's actually going to decrease the train by 15 meters when I plop that. Just be careful when there's like things nearby because it'll blow them up. But that makes very precise um, leveling for, for overpasses or underpasses if you ever wanted that. 
then if I keep going through, if I hit tab instead of home and end, I can do different uh, levels. So if I press tab, now it's 7.5. If I rotate, it's minus 7.5. Or I can do 8 meters, 10 meters, 12, 14, all kinds of different placements, right? Here's 30 meters. Wow! If you ever wanted that, it's there. I go down 30 meters. Whoa! I've actually hit w water. And if you wanted to go crazy, you can actually start digging, digging, digging. Right? Real deep. Other way, right? I go, whoa, wow, wow. If you ever wanted to do that, you can. It's just a very precise way of creating uh, slopes up or down. Next up are flex turn lanes, so uh, you just kind of pop that in if you ever wanted to. I'll just create a few uh, examples. And then there's some intersection pieces here if you ever want them in as well. Most of the time they'll just override, but if I want to create a turn lane, I can kind of do that, right? And I just kind of build an intersection here. And look, oh, it even changes the arrows, right? If I want to have a middle lane, or if I want a median, like there's all kinds of stuff you can do. All right, I'd have to fix that up, but you get the gist of it, right? And then for avenues and stuff, that'll change. Same thing for avenues, right? You can just kind of keep going until there's an intersection. Sometimes you have to place the puzzle pieces after, but that's fine. Or even a dual lanes, dual turn lanes if you want that. And even for the, your three tile networks, your F6, your uh, turning lane seven road. Just kind of build it like that. You have to override a little bit. You get the gist of it. Uh, next up are the nice prefabricated ones. So you don't have to build the whole intersection from all sides. You just kind of plop that. Look, you've got turn lanes all the way. And there's all kinds of different setups you can put. If you rotate, it goes between three and four way. Right? See that? Right, you can build some really big ones too. And the fun thing is, too, is that if this isn't good enough for you, you can even put in slip lanes on top of that, which I find to be really cool. So let's use this one as an example because it's nice and easy. But if I wanted slip lanes on top of this intersection, guess what? The game is smart enough to override it. That's cool. Even for these dual turn lanes, that's cool. I like that. And then you just kind of drag out all sides to connect them to your regular networks. So that's cool. What else is in the road network? Jeez, I said this was going to be quick. I'm like 45 minutes in now. Uh, so next up we've got... Okay, let's finish this up. Uh, neighbor connection pieces for the network widening mod. So if you ever want to build a neighbor connection, and uh, I don't know, let's. Let's say I've got a. I haven't got to network widening mod yet, but let's say I've got. I don't know. Five lane. Oh, one way roads don't connect. I'm an idiot. Uh, that's just a bad example. Let's say I've got a. This one. And I go all the way to the neighbor connection. It, the game doesn't really understand this network. It'll just think it's three roads going on the other side. It'll still work, but it won't be like properly path. 
So what you do is you plop in these connections right over top. And uh, that way it'll, the setup will be, be correct. And you can't really plop much there, but yeah, that's kind of how it works. Similar to the ones for the real highway. Next up, our curves for your network widening mod uh, networks. So very similar to the roads, right? And then you can rotate them too if you want. Different connections, you got your meaningless avenues, your Av 2s, I guess you call them. Not meaningless, the ones with medians. Right, keep going, you've got the one with two lanes on one side called ARD3. And that's kind of what you got. These are all like for one tiles. Two tile ones don't have a lot of support for them yet. But you can still drag and, and, and curve them just fine. It's not may not be as pretty or as precise. Uh, these are multi-radius curve flex pieces for the network add-on mod. Or, sorry, network widening mod. I have, this is all network. You can kind of just plop that in. It tells you what it supports too. I haven't really used these too much. Oh, this one's taking a while to plop. But if you ever wanted to like just put that in and then I can put a starter in. Got the starters. Or like this. It'll override. Because if I just do that smooth curve, it's not gonna work. Not for the network widening mod. So that's kind of how it works. It just supports that. Some really big ones. Here's one for the dual tile. Or for the meeting in this one. Maybe you just kind of put those in wherever you'd like. And then from here, you can, I think you can just kind of drag them. If not, you have to override them. I've never really used these too much. Maybe once or twice, but they're all there if you want to. Almost wants to be supported. <laughs> you probably have to put starters on each side. I won't go through that. In fact, I think I'm confusing the game here a bit. <laughs> That's freezing. Don't crash on me. I'm doing all these weird things. Uh, next are transitions. Transitions will happen normally as well, but. If you want them pl uh, plopped specifically, you can kind of just put them in, right? All these different positions. All right, there's some tiny ones too. If you ever want to go from like one network to the other. There's even some diagonal ones, which are really cool. If you ever wanted any of these like really specific ones, you can. You just kind of plop them between two networks that start, but you really don't have to because most of the flex stuff is is uh, is going to work. So by flex, I mean I want, let's say, a three-lane one-way road. I already showed this with the real expressway. But it's always fun to show again, or even this here, right? Like if I want to turn this from three lanes to two lanes, I just start dragging here, and it'll create that transition. Same here, right? If I wanted to turn to three lanes, just kind of drag up to the edge, and it'll create that transition. And same here, if I want to have a center turn lane. Oh, right, this this uses the road. That's why I'm an idiot. That's why the other curves didn't work. Um, you use curves, you use one, you use roads to drag this on each side. And if I want to transition this to an avenue, I just kind of build to the edge, right? And I got my median back. So you can do that very nicely with the flex stuff, but there's the old puzzle pieces exist for precise connections. Maybe you don't have enough room for the override or something that isn't supported. It's still there. All right. So we did all that. Starters. I mean, these are all the different network winding mods. I guess I should go through them all here. So this is your road with a center turn lane. We call it a TLA three turning lane Avenue three. 
Uh, this is your Ave 2, so basically the same as an avenue, just with the median in the middle, and one lane on each side. This is the one with two lanes on each side, ART3. This is your one-way road with one lane, one-way road with three lanes, so obviously there's only the two-lane one because that's the base. This is your medianless avenue 4, or NRD4, a narrow road. So you get two lanes on both sides, that's good for like really dense downtowns. Uh, there's the one with the center turn lane, oops. Uh, there's your four-lane one-way road, two tiles, five-lane one-way road. Uh, the one with uh, road four. Road 6. And there's your 7 lanes here. So, And then there's diagonal ones, too. If you ever wanted to put those in. Some fun stuff, too. Um, you have the 4-lane one-way road. I know this trick. But you can kind of split it. So if I was dragging this one-way road, and then I wanted to split it, I can. So if I do that, I just kind of drag like that. And like that. Now you got, like, two branching in. And that's useful because if you ever wanted to have like a curve coming, kind of coming in, have that continue, you can kind of do that. That way they're together for a small distance. So that's kind of cool. The five lane's a little bit different, but it can kind of do a similar setup. But I won't get into that with too much detail. Uh, next up are your actual um, turning lane pieces. It says old, but I still use them a lot because they're very precise. Uh, if you want to get a intersection built, Turn lanes, you can kind of just put that in, and then here you can kind of rotate if you want the arrow or not, or no arrow at all. Just kind of put them in. These take time to build, but they, they look really nice. So if I wanted to build, that's why that, that flex one makes things so much nicer, right? Just kind of keep going until you find what you want. And here you can plop in the intersection, just the old style. Just keep going until you find it. See, that's three-way. Just rotate it for four-way. And just like uh, before, you can do slip lanes and all kinds of other things. But here you have to rotate them and plop them in one by one, so it's slow. But sometimes your network won't fully override, or you want a very specific configuration, it's all here for you. There's the one with the slip line on one side, and here it is with both sides. So just make sure you pick the right one. You can kind of do stuff like that. I did a whole video on tulip demonstrations as well, uh, back when this was relatively new. So check that video out if, uh, if interested. But that's kind of your turning lane pieces, if you weren't to drag them. Making those flex was, was really cool. Uh, next is Rural Road. I mean, this is just cosmetic, but if I was dragging a road and I wanted it to be like a country road, you can kind of put these pieces in. Because right now you got the double lot, double yellow. And if you ever wanted to get that changed, well, you can put them in. Right? Kind of like that. So now you have like a passing lane like in the rural country. Kind of like that. Right, there's even rural streets and rural roads if you want that. I've never really used these, but... I mean, they're all kind of here, so you can kind of drag. Just put your road. Road? Maybe it's street. I've never really used this. Like I said, I'm experienced, but not super experienced. Yeah, I'm not an expert on this, so I'm just going to stop, but, uh, yeah, that's kind of how it's done. I don't do a lot of rural stuff. But that's the Rural Roads plugin, if you ever wanted it. Sometimes I admit it in my NAM install, because I never use it. Uh, next are some really old um, configurations for your uh, real highway mod. So if you wanted to have like an old overpass, these are 15 meters high. You can kind of plop them in very precisely. That's kind of how we used to do it to build overpasses instead of dragging. 
But there's still some useful stuff. Um, even though those may not be the most useful things. Near the end of the tab ring. Right, you've got the flexible underpass support. So if you wanted to build a tunnel underneath, you can. Right, this is a flexible underpass for Rail Highway 2. And then when we get to the one-way roads and avenues, it's even it, it still has a lot of use. So I'll just drag a network to here, just so I can show you. And then this will be the end here. Uh, so next is the one-way road. So again, the one-way roads has those 15-meter overpasses. Not really the most useful thing anymore, but they're all there. But then if you get to the end of the tab ring, you can always hit shift tab to go to the end of the tab ring as well. I'm just going the long way here. Maybe one way roads don't have it. Maybe it's just avenue. Yeah, it's avenue that has it. I think I zoomed it a bit too much. Ah, uh, yes. So here again, you've got your old prefabricated overpasses if you ever wanted to build all that stuff. Because it's sometimes useful, depending on your um, setup, things may not overwrite correctly. Now here you've got actual connectors for your MIS pieces, your, your on-ramp. So you can build that there, like that, or even fractional angle like that. So that's a really good way to build um, ramp connections. So I can go into the real highway. I know I'm getting a bit past roads, but still it just like nicely connects. And then here, if you want to be very precise, you can get uh, the fractional angle connected here. So I can go just showing you real quick. Uh, it's one. Yeah. So you can kind of like build it like that. So it's a really nice... Uh, transition and I I've dragged one-way road because I said it wasn't there wasn't anything there but you can actually put these on one-way road because it only connects to one side of your avenue so if I wanted to build oh yeah I haven't got there yet I wanted to build this connection see it only goes on one side of the avenue I can connect this to one-way road so really it works for both if I ever wanted that branch out I just thought a piece existed but it's the same it's shared And at the end of the tab ring for Avenue is your old setups for diverging diamond interchanges and stuff, so. To build this, kind of it's kind of funky, but diverging diamonds are funky. You gotta make sure all those arrows line up, so got an off-ramp here on the north and an on-ramp on the south and then here you've got the same so if I pop that here see how I have like one-way road stubs on the one side because the lanes are reversed so here just make sure you hook up the lines quickly so I'm actually dragging this way that way and this allows turns without cross traffic so you know in order to make a left-hand turn normally you would Need to turn left through the intersection. Here you cross and you make the turn without cross traffic. And then here is like where you would build your highway. And near the end of the tab ring as well, um, this is the SPUI or SPUI. So you can kind of build that. Again, a similar setup. Do it to do this kind of just pop those there drag a huge intersection here then here you'd hook it up to a to some turning lane pieces and then in the middle you can drag here I'll just do it I'll drag like level one for each 
HW6C. Sure. So if I drag that... Oh, game's freezing on me. It's been a while since I built this. The game's just trying to figure out what to do. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't crash it. If I did crash it, this is basically the last piece. But I think I think it'll come back. Jeez, I'm over an hour here. So much for a quick tutorial. Hm. Okay, we're back. Didn't quite like that. Oh, I got a weird piece here. Let's see if I just fix that. Maybe that's why I kind of screwed up something here. That's okay. I'll just replop it. Uh, so again, I scroll all the way to the end. I've done something a little wrong here. Let me just demolish this a bit. I'm going to go shift tab this time. So I press shift and I hold tab and look, I'm right here. I'm right back to it. There we go. Now I'll just connect this back up. And then here I just kind of plop some turning lane pieces. Then you just hook these arm ramps up, and uh, yeah, you're you're pretty, you're pretty much golden. So yeah, that's it for the for my road network, uh, my road tab. I've gone through all the pieces that I personally have in my game. Hopefully, this tutorial was uh, useful for everybody, and I might make some future ones for highways, uh, rail. I'm not a huge expert; it doesn't take too long. But maybe I'll maybe I'll do something with uh, with all the other ones at some point because there's there's a couple things in mass transit and whatnot, but it's it's all different based on your install. But yeah, anyways, this is Hell Jackie. Uh, showing you all the different road networks in the base game and the NAM. Hopefully this was useful. This video is uh, relevant as of NAM 42. So if you don't have NAM 42, you have an earlier version, or you don't have NAM at all, please download it, and uh, you'll get to enjoy all the same stuff I did. All right, thanks. Take care, guys. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.